Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of A Gardener's Journey Homestead. I'm Barbara. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. And today I'm in the back of the house, which you don't see me back here very often on video anymore. Um, but for those that are new, welcome. For those that have been following me for so, quite some time, welcome back. So um, for those that are new, I'm in Zone 7A. I'm in Tennessee. And I'm in the back of my house. And y'all, this is where it all got started. So my gardening journey started behind my house with four raised beds three years ago, um, April 2020. And man, what a wild ride it has been. And I'm back in the back of the house today, checking on things back here in my raised beds. And y'all, it look a mess. It looks a mess out here. I, it's so funny how this is where I started. But now in three years, I have all the stuff that you've already seen um, that I've been working on, you know, diligently. And not that I don't work back here. It's just I'm not back here as often, right? Um, and I call this like, this is like my garden stepchild because it's the most neglected meaning i don't come back here every single day because i have the majority of my stuff in the tunnel and in the in-ground garden this time of the year but what i have in the back of the house um just kind of for history so i started with four raised beds and then we added a fifth one um the following year so right now i have two beds of garlic back here and three beds of onions um and it needs to be weeded terribly i'm checking to see if my onions have bulbed up remember i was a little late with my onions later than i want it to be um so i gotta go back and take a look to see when i actually plant it um and then also they need um, fertilization i may have already missed my timetable to fertil to fertilize optimally but we're gonna check and see and y'all this is the only place in my gardens that i have where i have weeds the only place and because I haven't been out here and because it has been raining nonstop over the last couple of, I don't know, month or so, the weeds have gotten out of control. And so I'm going to tackle it today. I got gloves, which y'all never see me wearing gloves, but we're going to wear gloves today and um, see what's going on back here. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I'm embarrassed to turn the camera around, but I am going to turn the camera around because this is real life and i don't know why i have weeds back here because these beds we laid down landscape paper or, or weed fabric i should say before we filled it up with dirt the first year no problem as you guys know my raised beds in my tunnel i don't have any weeds in my tunnel i mean very i have very little weeds which is the way i like it and i'm telling you if i had to weed i wouldn't garden um and so this right here, we're about to get it done. Let me turn the camera around and show you just how bad it is. See that? Um, it needs to be weed eating around the bed. That's not my job. That's my husband's job. He cut the grass, but he didn't get a chance to weed eat. Y'all, when you got this much space, it, to weed eat and grass cut all in one day doesn't happen. And once my son gets out of school, this will be his responsibility. But right now, he's in the midst of last couple of weeks of school, so he's been busy. But... um let's get in here and see what we have going on this is bed number one i'm just going to go from left to right this is a bed of um onions so i'm going to get in here and try to weed as much as i can and then we can take a look and see how big our onions are Okay, I can tell you right now, if this was my garden experience day in and day out, you would not know me. <laughs> I would not be on YouTube. I would not be gardening. Do not like to weed. And I know those from the old schools like, oh, weeding is just a part of it, not a part of my journey. And that didn't take long. So as I'm complaining, it didn't take long and the stuff pulled up really, really easily. I don't know why I continue to get weeds back here, and this is the only place I get weeds. At first, I was thinking, okay, well, my husband and my son cut the grass. Are they blowing stuff in the bed? 
they've been trying to, as they do that, kind of um, mow where the stuff is going the opposite direction. I don't know if it's the, um, you know, I mulch uh, with um, the pond shavings. I don't know if that's what it is, but that can't be it because I have pond shavings in the indoor, um, in, the, in the tunnel. I don't know what's causing the weeds, but this cannot, this, this is not my journey, <laughs> not my journey. So I pretty much got that bed cleared out. That probably took, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, and I got nervous because I'm like, my onions are not bulbing up, but I was actually looking at the leeks which leaks don't bulb up. But I looked at my onions and I still don't think they're bulbing up, y'all. So I pulled one because I had already kind of damaged it. You see, I got it tangled up with the weed and tore it. So I just pulled it up out the ground. Y'all, that is not bulbing up. <sighs> my heart is hurt. I don't know. And again, I've only grown onions successfully last year. Um, I didn't have any issues. They bulbed up just fine, but I did plant them early. And I know I read something where they need to be in the ground bef so many weeks before the last frost. Um, what did I read? Something about they need to be in the ground before the last frost so they can, I think basically they need to bulb up before it gets hot is the way I understood it. <sighs> Let me go back and see when I actually planted these and see if I am too late. Um, and I know I applied fertilizer in the beginning and I think you're supposed to apply fertilizer. I, get, I think either right when you think they're about to bulb up or I don't remember. I know that you're supposed to apply fertilizer twice. So that's how this was my second time today. Y'all I'm all discombobulated. Cause look at this, look at this. Now out of the onions I planted three beds of onions and I planted each bed at a separate time. This is the bed I planted second. So I'm going to go to the bed I planted first and see if we have any more progress. But let me check my dates. Okay, y'all. So I checked and I actually was not off in terms of when I planted. So last year I planted between March 14th and 17th. And this bed right here got planted March 11th this year. So I'm right around the same time frame. Now the weather obviously could have been different. Um, but and I didn't take notes as to when I saw a bulb or when they started pushing um, on the ground. I have to go back to maybe some of my YouTube videos and see when I actually pulled my onions. I know it was sometime in June. My notes said that it had an 85 day maturity and to check around June 1st, but I don't think I pulled my onions to maybe mid June, but I'm gonna go back and check. So maybe there's still hope. Y'all, it's about to be the last week of May. I don't know if I'm supposed to have bulbs. Y'all, this is bed number two. This is the bed I planted first. Um, I disturbed some little ant pile that I didn't know was there. So I am like on guard. Uh, but the weeds are not as bad in this bed. Um, and the bulbs do seem bigger. Let me see if I can bring you a little bit closer so you can see maybe. Okay. Let me see. can kind of see this one here is bigger and I'm making space around each bulb and kind of like moving the dirt back to give it room to kind of grow and expand um, but the tops look good um, we just want to make sure that we have some good onions growing um, under there so the tops look good um, and if you didn't know for every ring excuse me for every leaf that you have that's a ring around the onion so the more of these you have the bigger the onion is okay y'all i pretty much got that bed cleared out except the one part in the back corner where the ants are i'm gonna put some citrus citrus spray on that that's the new product i'm trying i tried it in the tunnel it seemed to work so i'm gonna try it out here and see if it um does but i have something exciting to show you I came across a pleasant surprise that I want to show you. That's not while I'm out here, but I saw it. Let me turn the camera around and show you what it is. This is my garlic bed. And my garlic has grown scapes. 
that's what this is right here. I'm so excited. I was just out here early this week and these were not here. So this just happened this week. They have grown escape. Hopefully you can see that there. Let me see if I can. Is it because it's green, it may all start to kind of look the same, but it's a curly part that comes down like that. <coughs> Excuse me. You can see them all around. Okay, this is what it looks like. So if you have a hard neck variety of garlic, and depending on when you plant them, go out there and check your garlic and see if your scapes have grown. Once the scapes are, are um, they put, put, put off scapes, S-C-A-P-E, garlic scapes, then it's usually, I want to say two to three weeks before it's time for your garlic. So the next step we'll see is that the garlic will start to get brown, which is already starting to get brown on some of the edges, but it'll start to kind of like, um, I call it bowing down, but it'll start to kind of like lean down. But the scapes is one of the first signs that it's almost ready. And the scapes, you can eat, you can make pesto out of this, you can chop it up. Um, it has a very good flavor. You can saute it with your veggies and stuff like that. Last year, mine had gotten... I was a little bit too late, so I'm glad that I see these. Now, I'm actually gonna take, get all of my scapes. I know, we're changing focus because the scapes are here, y'all. The scapes are here. So I'm gonna get all of mine and then chop them up and then um, freeze them. And then I can use them like to stir fry with veggies. I've never made a pesto out of it, but I, it gotta taste good, y'all. It gotta taste good. It has an excellent flavor. So I'm, I'm shifting gears, just not shifting. We're just adding two. I'm about to get my scapes. I'll be right back. Y'all, look how many scapes I have. That is from two beds of garlic. So again, if you have a hard neck garlic variety, they will form scapes. You do want to get them. Even if you don't want to eat them, I don't know why you wouldn't want to eat them if you're growing garlic. You obviously like garlic, right? So last year, I waited too long to get my scapes, and they were very tough and woody. But these have to be perfect because they have not been out here they couldn't have been out here more than a week so they should be good to go i'm gonna dice these up and freeze them um because i'm not gonna make pesto today um and i'll just use them in dishes and, and things like that but the reason why you want to take these off is because it's going to send more um a signal to the garlic bulb to make the garlic bulb bigger it will send the production back to the bulb to make it bigger when you leave these on here they'll start to flower um, and you'll see a flower come out and it's putting its energy towards forming the flower versus putting its energy towards finishing up making the bulb bigger. So you want to pull these, like I said, it's like a little curly, it's almost like a little curly cue, cue and it just comes out the center of the garlic stalk. Um, and like I said, you can um, make pesto out of this, you can mince it, you can puree it, use it in sauteed veg veggies, um, anything like that. So Look, that's free food, y'all. It's like two for the price of one. So I'm about to take these in the house. Um, I'll wash them and then cut them up and put them in the freezer. Um, and while I was picking these, I was weeding the bed. The garlic bed is not bad at all. Let me turn you around and show you. So you can see the garlic bed. So we should be literally picking garlic probably, I would say, in about three weeks. Um, the stalks look very good um, and thick, so I'm hoping that I have um, some good, strong garlic under there. And it's interesting because this bed and the last bed that has garlic does not have a lot of weeds. It's only the onion beds that have the majority of the weeds. My next bed is that one over there. And y'all, it is it is it has a lot of weeds um, in it. So, but look, I'm excited. We got our garlic scapes um, as well as um, our, um, we got the bed weeded. And the bed looks good. The garlic looks good. So I'm excited about that. Okay, that last bed is the one I planted last. That's the worst bed of them all. Those weeds, they, y'all, the weeds were like, what are you doing? We are here to stay. And I'm like, you gotta go. So I got it 90% cleared, which is good, but there's still some stuff in there. I'm gonna put some more elbow power out, out, out on it 
and then I'm gonna have to get my husband to weed. Like it is like wildlife or something growing around that bed. I can't have it. <laughs> I can't do it. Cannot do it. Those of y'all who weed on a regular basis, my hat is off to you. I would take my hat off, but I have a hat on for a reason, okay? Um, hats off to you because this cannot be part of my journey. <laughs> I don't like it. And if I can find a way to eliminate it, which for the most part I have, then that's what I'm going to do. Even if that means I have to spend extra money because these weeds, it takes too much time. And this literally has not taken a lot of time, but y'all only did three beds. Three beds. So imagine if, if that in-ground garden space that I have, if I had to weed every row between every plant, there's no way. There is no way. So I got 90% done with that. Everything else is looking pretty decent. Um, I think I hear thunder. Like it's about to rain. I really want to get my fertilization, my fertilization, my fertilizer in before it starts raining. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it. My fertilizer is down at the tunnel. So I got to go down to the tunnel and fertilize and try to water this in. My last bed, I think I did that on March the 24th. And so they definitely have not bulbed up um, a lot. So definitely the one that I planted first, the bulbs are bigger, but it's not like round, like an onion big. It's more like, okay, it's bigger than a scallion. Well, much, much bigger than a scallion, but not like round. It's like more vertical, cylindrical or whatever. And I just don't remember at this stage of the game that I already have onions bulbing, like round, pushing through the ground. Maybe I didn't because I guess once they start pushing through the ground, you know that that's when they're ready, right? I don't know, y'all. I'm stressing about my onions. Y'all send me some onion tips. Let me know if I'm off my rocker. And I didn't do anything different this year than I did last year, except this one bed got planted a little bit later. But everything else was planted really around the same time. Um, the weather was a little bit more crazy this year, but I don't know. I guess time will tell. I'm going to do my part, which is fertilize again, water them I've weeded it as much as I can right now. I'll come out here and weed some more. And I've tried to push the dirt back some to kind of give it room to expand. We'll see what happens. But we did get garlic scapes. So that was an unexpected surprise and a win. So if you have hard neck garlic, go out there and see if you have scapes yet, depending on when you plant your garlic. I planted my garlic, I want to say the first week of November. Um... <clears throat> I always say I'm trying to get it in in October, and I haven't so far, but it always works out fine. Um, I usually harvest around the middle of June, which will be in about three weeks. So I'm excited, and I have two beds of garlic, which last year, and for the years previous, I only had one bed of garlic. So I know I have more, and then I have the garlic down there in the in-ground space. So I need to go see if that, those have thrown scapes um, as well and get those scapes too. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. Send me some onion tips, especially if you're in my zone. I'm in zone 7A in Tennessee. Um, if you want to know what kind of onions I planted, I did red candy, um, yellow candy, leeks, Georgian crystal, and then there was another one. I'll try to find my onion video when I plant it and link it up here. Uh, but I ordered them from Dixondale Farms, which is what I did last year. They are intermediate day onions. So again, you know, onions bulb up depending on day length. Um, it needs a certain amount of sunlight each day in order for them to bulb up. So I did get the right kind. I got them from a trusted vendor that I've used before. I put them in generally around the same time. But what I don't remember is were they already bulbing up by now? I don't know. But time will tell. But if you have any suggestions please put it down below. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope, 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 hope that your garden is off to a great start. I hope that you are out there working, getting it done because before you know it, y'all, it'll be harvest time. So if you like what you're seeing on my channel, please subscribe, tell a friend, tell a neighbor. Until next time, I'll pop some videos up here. Remember, gardening is a journey. Gardening, not weeding. Weeding is not part of Barbara's journey. Gardening is a journey. Let's grow together. See you next time, friend.